John Alonzo here is a Copo specific race expert, right? That's right. Knows everything about him. He is with, who are you with? Stock and Dickey Parts Center, an SDPC race shop. So if you need any parts, any engine work, specifically Chevrolet Performance, we are guys. So Stock and Dickey is the largest supplier of Chevrolet high performance parts in the world, period. That's so right. If they don't have it on the shelf, it's probably not available. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's probably on back order, and we heard them words a lot this year. So <laughs> we're actually really fortunate that they're here today and let us run with y'all. Yeah. These guys have got more knowledge running these cars than just about anybody. So, Kelsey, there's your teacher, John. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, y'all go. It was only her second time on the track. It was supposed to be a roll-on practice run. She actually ran an 11.18 at 135.2 miles an hour. It's not what I expected. So John, I thought that was just gonna be a practice run. Y'all were just gonna roll on through. What'd you tell her? Yeah, well, it felt pretty good. And I told her if she's comfortable, well, let her air out. I mean, that's what we're here for. <laughs> she literally drove the car down the track once, and this is, she was supposed to practice two or three more times, and yeah. she went after there it. There's the first time she lived. 11.18 at 135. She's not even trying yet. Get you some of that. Making headway on every pass. It's only her third pass she's ever made. Her top speed or trap speed at the end is already higher than most of the Copos are running. So I'm fixing to go pick up her time ticket, but roughly she started 11.18, 10.90, and 10.75. Can you imagine we can get her in the 9.90s by the end of the day? See what happens. There we go. Still so cool, entry number Copo one. She's at 137.61 mile per hour and a 10.750. It's pretty strong for her, only her third pass she's ever made. And I think she likes it. She's getting excited, getting more comfortable. We get her to make a hard pass. We might be able to break a 10. That's my hope. This is a one-off gold Copo with a Trans Am front end and a 327. Watch this.
little bit better, but it is insane. The car hooks up just like incredibly fast. I've never been in something that burns out. I can burn out and spin the tires like that, keep control, line up, shift that quick, go that straight, go that fast, that fast. It's, this is gonna be insane. John from Scoggin Dickey, again, the largest Chevrolet part supplier in the world. Yeah. If you're looking for a high performance Chevrolet part, they've got it on the shelf. If they don't have it on the shelf, it's not available. So let me show you how you did. Very impressive. I was under the impression the first two times she got up there, she was going to drive down the track because this is what I asked her to do. It's not what she did. Well, you told me that if I felt comfortable to push it, then I could push it. Right after you got the second gear, that's what you did. So she came out of the hole easy. So her first run, which I want you to see these entry, Copo 1, which is really cool. She ran an 1118 at 135 miles an hour. So let's put that into perspective. One of these cars with a perfect driver in it running a 960 is not running much faster than 139 miles an hour once it goes through the traps. Much, you know, tighter reaction time. So let's go to second run. A 1090. That is a fast improvement at almost the exact same top speed. <laughs> So you're giving the car all it's got at the tail end, all of it. Just not enough out of the hole. But it's okay. And you know what did we do? Called Miss called Rich Frankie. And Call, what did he say to do? Work on coming out of the hole. That's right. And so John, same thing. John, same thing. So here's her third hit. 10750. <laughs> awesome. At 137 there. miles an hour. We're getting there. Fourth run. Now when you're getting down to the five tenths of a second, start sh snipping them off for a second at a time. And every time you make a run, you're getting better. She's learning quick. 1070 at 136 miles an hour, almost 137. Kelsey, that was outstanding. So please like, tag, share, and follow. And we will see you next time. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I was a proud dad out there watching Kelsey run. She made four incredible passes at the Texas Motorplex. That was on Wednesday. Now, we're supposed to be heading from there to Texas 2K, which, by the way, is the 16th through the 20th of this month, which is Wednesday through Sunday. You can go to flowsports.com to see it stream live. But that is the Super Bowl of racing. If you can go, you need to attend. It's in Baytown, Texas. We will have links in our description to all of this. So we apologize for not being able to make it. Again, the circumstances are out of control. So y'all go to Texas 2K. It's a bucket list must for any motorsports enthusiasts. Please like, tag, share, and follow. And always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.